Well, hey, this is Tony. Welcome to Coolest Life. And right now, I'm in downtown Savannah, Georgia, about to go into Solomon Lodge number one. Solomon Lodge, in case you didn't know, is the uh, is sitting actually inside of the old cotton exchange. There's probably some information around here, something somewhere about the cotton exchange. Anyway, I guess you can stop this video and take a look if you wanted to. If you wanted to read it really close, but. Uh, inside the old cotton exchange which is exactly, exactly that it's basically the uh, stock market if you will from back in the day now, Solomon Lodge was established in 1971 is when they changed it to Solomon but they've actually been <laughs> let's try that again they called this, this the lodge was established in 1734 and was changed to Solomon Lob, Lodge in 1771 their claim to fame is they're the oldest, longest existing constituted lodge that has always had a meeting every month of every year since it became in existence. That's through every war, through every tsunami, through every hurricane. At least once a month, they had a meeting either in this building or another building because they haven't always been in this building here. But, uh, but let's go inside and see if we can get an admission. In fact, I know we can because I called a brother and he said he's gonna meet me here because you've just entered the coolest life. Well, how about that? They actually let us in. <laughs> Scott was nice enough to uh, give me the grand tour. And uh, they're actually, he, he does a real good, good job with tours, trying to educate people that come in to the lodge. But uh, uh, so we are inside of their foyer, which is their front entrance. And here, something I noticed here, their door knocker. That's unusual. I haven't seen one quite. I mean, that's a, that's a good size door knocker there. Um, and then they've got this armor all here. They've got items in here. That's a really nice piece. And I'm going to turn this around as we go through the main door. Right here is your main door. <clears throat> You first see a nice uh, stained glass up top. Very historic significance. And here's where the uh, junior senior warden would sit. And you can see how tall these are. These are these uh, columns here are about 12 feet up, I believe. Now. Significance right here of the uh, of the clock and the balcony here because this used to be the cotton exchange Which is exactly that basically the stock market of its day um, In the 1920s 30s and 40s, I believe it is and it and uh, so they would actually come up here and ring the bell here To signify that they were actually it's time to trade cotton and you will see As I spin around here fast here in this area used to have uh, chalkboards and the chalkboards would look like that I can get the glare out of there. That's actually this room here, showing the chalkboards. We're actually here and here. It's the way they exchange cotton. But these are really ornate. You can see. And so this chair here, you can see they've got a moon up there. And over on our Junior Wharton's chair here, up top right up there, they've got the sun depicted. So you get the sun, the moon, and of course the worship master seat. These uh, chairs were made when um, George Washington came here to visit. And so they, they had these and actually George Washington sat in the chair that we're about to sit in up front. Very famous member there, Jonas Chig, did a lot for Freemasonry here in Solomon's Lodge. Got three rows of seating and of course Brother Oglethorpe, who was, uh, helped this uh, lodge get chartered originally. Of course, he was, Oglethorpe was the first governor of the state of Georgia. And, oh, something I always enjoy looking at is ballot boxes because they're all so different. So this one here, you got a handle, opens there opens there and of course there's the hole so let's stick one in there and close that you can see 
it comes out on this side right there we'll put it back through <laughs> nice piece uh other thing i noticed about this lodge is the uh the columns here they do this a lot in the uh, fellow craft degree because this column here does not look like this column or like that column they're different but they do that through the degree work and explain those the differences in the columns so this is the uh, original chair it has been upholstered a couple of times since then but it, uh, it's where uh, george washington has actually sat to include uh oglethorpe and the stained glass is just beautiful above it it is a historic site here here in uh savannah basically all the all the mahogany you see here was original to the uh the cotton exchange at the time now they were chartered in uh 34 but actually have a copy of where they were uh, accepted into the grand lodge of georgia that's the charter there from 1785 I've got a copy of that so if you come to this lodge you want to definitely check that out while you're here got a different set of columns here they're about eight feet tall and of course they got the uh union jack that's uh you need that because uh, they were actually chartered originally by england um, we saw this in one of the lodge too. It's got the two ball canes in it. They said there's a brother in this area that actually makes these. He's a Shriner and he makes these. And this is something usual here. This column here is very heavy. It's probably, uh, 12 pounds, 10 pounds, but it's made of brass. It's a really nice piece. Normally you see them of, um, uh, you see them made out of, uh, uh, marble or you see them made out of wood. Most are wood, but that's actually brass. And that is a depiction of how uh, Oglethorpe wanted Savannah to be drawn out. And as we continue to go around, you'll see the altar here. And look at these lesser lights here. I mean, this is this is some serious detail on these. You don't see this a lot. I think I've maybe seen something as ornate as this in maybe one other lodge. And uh, they don't have the Masonic logo here. They've got the flicker lights, which are really neat, neat when they when they light up. They they, they flicker up like a real candle and uh there of course is the altar this whole top piece here comes completely off it's got a real strong smell of mahogany which is really cool my brother scott's sitting over there he's uh he's the one that gave me the tour so if you get a chance to come here he is our sitting secretary and a past master twice of this lodge but you want to check out this place and uh and, and visit these brothers So if you ever get a chance you're in Savannah and you're here, um, I believe they meet on Thursdays. I guess the second and fourth Thursdays. Uh, check them online. You can see exactly when they when they meet. But to, you want to check out Solomon Lodge, you definitely want to do that. Uh, I had a chance, almost had a, came down here last week when they actually had their regular meeting and didn't wasn't able to make it. But uh, it's a really, really beautiful lodge. As you can see by this tour, just the history that they have here is just amazing. But uh, be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell so that you get notified of my future Lodge videos. I'll be doing a few more, especially up the East Coast. Definitely want to see those. I want to check out one in Philadelphia that's really old. Charleston and uh, Boston, from what I gather. Some, some really nice lodges. So uh, stay tuned with us and uh, be checking out our, our future videos. And be sure to like and subscribe, as I said. And uh, I'm going to let you go here because I just got to get back to living the coolest life. Masonic Edition.